I've been asked a few times how I made these 1080p time lapses using my Canon PowerShot S95, so I thought I should make this little tutorial to explain. To take with you, you need a uh, full battery, an empty memory card, uh, some kind of stand. Uh, you don't need one exactly. You can just put the camera on something random you find anywhere. Um, but this is easy to carry around, so... Uh, I try and keep this in my bag or whatever. Um, this is the most important thing. Um, this is a rubber band, as you can see. Um, the size is a little difficult. Basically, you want one about six centimeters uh, or two and a bit inches. And um, a little bit wide is good. So um, I just had to search around and try different ones. Uh, these actually came with some Christmas cards, as you can probably see. Um, now this little thing is actually the um, uh, eraser from a mechanical pencil. So um, uh, basically I just cut that to a certain length and uh, you'll see how we use that later. Okay, let's get ready. First we switch the camera on and turn the mode dial to M which lets us adjust everything manually. Spin the control dial to set the shutter speed. Longer is brighter. Then turn the control ring to set the aperture value. F2 is brighter with a blurry background and F8 is darker with a sharp background. Push the function set button to adjust more settings. ISO brightens the picture electronically but also adds more noise, so I like to set this as low as possible. Turn off bracketing for now. Now it's vital to set the drive mode to continuous or we can't make a time lapse using this method. I like to set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 to match my television and shoot JPEG only to save space. I also usually set the image size to 1920 by 1280. Push the function set button again. Now push the menu button. Go down to safety manual focus and turn it off. Set the image stabilization mode to off. I also recommend setting the shortcut button to auto focus lock. Finally, we should register the settings to see on the mode dial so you can quickly make the camera ready for time lapses by doing this. On the lower right of the screen you can see the exposure level indicator. I try to keep this in the middle or a little lower. Press the shortcut button to lock the focus. Put the rubber band over the body of the camera and be careful not to touch any of the controls. Next, put the eraser under the rubber band and jam down the shutter button. Sometimes it won't go down properly, uh, so just be careful to make sure it's actually shooting. There we go. So from now, we just have to wait as long as it takes for whatever you're shooting to happen. Okay, now we're finished. So what you have now is a memory card full of stills that you need to import into Premiere Pro or whatever software you like to use. Go to the file menu and import. Go to the first picture in the sequence of images. Click the numbered stills box and then click the open button. Your time lapse will then show up in the project window and from there you can drop it on the timeline and edit it normally. It's not really the most elegant method but it works and it's fun and it's cheap. So that's three wins for me.